a preparator of fossils has to travel uh, a lot around. He visits people working in the quarries. People really work really hard to get like 20, 30 trilobytes every two weeks. And the preparator has to pay for the fines. It represents the 30% of uh, the final price. Uh, five, ten percent of the trilobytes are not complete, or they have problems, so it's a uh, lose money. And um, preparing the fossils is time consuming. It's used like two, three days. Here I'm going to document how they make the fake cast fossils. Uh, they use polyester resin, so like with like reactive. Um, they make like very thin powder of a stone, pulverizing the stone in a mortar, and they mix with the with the polyester. Um, after they have kind of like rigid forms that. The uh, yeah, with the shape of the trilobites. <laughs> they apply some some uh, grease to the cover to just clean it and take away dust and as well for the the polyester don't don't glue together with the form. Yeah, here is a few different kind of trilobites. This is a kind of like a quadrops, <laughs> arpes. Oh, uh, a lot of these pieces are are like cast of real trilobites, and they have made in polyester as well to to copy. So with the polyester they have make and the powder of a stone they have make a paste quite quite thick, and. They proceed to fill it up every form. Normally, they have after as well prepare like plates of, of a stone of the same stone as well for the for it's gonna be the matrix. In this case, the guy has not prepared any and any rock for the from for the base, so he's going to put some little stones around. So here we see he just uh, carefully fill it up all the. All the surface of the trilobite. Uh, it's probably gonna be bubbles in the surface, but uh, they after use a kind of polyester mixed with color black, with the um, with the graphite of a battery, so they could get the black and fill it up all the holes. So sometimes looking for hole bubbles and holes in the in the trilobite. Maybe it's not work, but I'm quite sure this, this trilobite is going to shine when you put under the blue light. <laughs> it's going to be gloomy. But yeah, so here is making kind of like surface. In this surface, they are going to attach a big rock normally. But uh, in this case, he's attaching, as I said, some little rocks um, to reinforce, to reinforce and after allow to open the piece the piece it takes like 10 minutes to get hard of course in this video is not 10 minutes to waiting for to see us coming hard uh, we just resume it <laughs> so uh, it's gonna be much less time here is when when the rock is already hard he's just open the forms 
here is a Beleno Pish. This is coming very easy. And uh, the color is neutral. This one actually I asked him to don't color it. So I can get one that it is without color. And the other is okay. He's gonna put some color on it in in a coltranea. Um, yes. So he's using like kind of knife or something to just open. The I used before myself to make some proof some silicone. Uh, so it was surprising to see that they use like polyester forms that they are like uh, uh, we call it uh, like primal primal form make of of hard material. So here it comes. Yes, this is the complete trilobite and the other trilobite beside, both in neutral color. Now he's gonna crack a battery. <laughs> he's going to use the graphite inside to use the color. Uh, they have not much access to pigments and stuff, so they use the graphite inside the battery. I guess this is not very healthy. <coughs> yep a little bit more and then they mix this one with polyester as well so he's gonna he's gonna brush it on the top of the trilobite in black color it repeats this process two three times more so he gets the black color really really strong and then he take a nail and start like scratching around the trilobite to make a little bit sharper the surface. The the the, the 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 yeah, make a little bit sharper the trilobite because now with all that black color is is like very not very <laughs> not very clear anyway. You see, he's filling all the little holes with the polyester made of black color, so it's not possible after to find much holes that shows that actually is a cast. And then he scratched a little bit the surface, uh, like silhouette of the trilobite, and then scratch the surface again until the trilobite is like has like yeah a little bit more to give contrast so it looks a little bit more real but yeah far away from real that's completely plastic <laughs> maybe it's rock under <laughs> for talk about the composite i'm going to talk about the mythic burmestrella uh, it's also Burmestrella Armata that we call it Elvis. If you see close this specimen, it's a change of color. And also in this part, and you see a little crack if you have good eyes, and some bubbles. It means the piece has made like, like this one. This actually, you see, is like a kind of complete body. It's missing the head. Actually, they're waiting for the head. They have uh, they have made the body from few different uh, specimens. People working in the quarry where this big bug is fine. It's actually no no much of these bugs complete. They have used like few pieces for the tail and a lot of little pieces uh, or some partial pieces for the thorax. They put together with some stones and the paste of sand um, or stone and polyester and when they get the head they're going to attach it as well and then they will find a big rock they will make a shape and put this on the top with the head and everything um, scratch the surface or something and a little bit polyester here their color some some fake spines or some orthoceras on the top and then you have elvis it's come back to life. <laughs> yeah, the, we call it Elvis, this kind of bug. It's Purmestrella Armata. 
it's super difficult to find one of those uh, specimens uh, together. So anyway, we have to appreciate that it's a lot of work to make one of these huge trilobites. Uh, it's made of real parts of the same bag, but it's not. It's kind. They have to specify it's a composite. Here as well, we see composites from Russia. The, we see uh, lichas with cithochoral eyes. It's kind of strange. And yeah, this kind of like Frankenstein as well. So it's not only Moroccans. It's a lot of people. Yeah, and this one I did myself. This is kind of yellow funny. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for seeing the video and press like. Bye.